chilling now. Oh yeah, I'm I'm calm. That's why I, I didn't come into bracket no, tired I finished, today. I finished my grades. I'm done. Let's go report cards. Let's go report cards. Uh, with that said, though, um, we are gonna go right into our next set. Uh, Vivi versus Jen. Uh, Lucario is out. Uh, have not seen much Lucario today from Vivi. Have a quick 71 coming. Two frame. Okay. Yeah. Oh, the stall yeah. I did for Vivi yeah. was super duper good. Yeah, yeah, Vivi's been doing that stall for uh, a minute now, you know, considering that everybody's learned the two frame time, two, two framing timing uh, against Lucario. So we definitely implemented it into this game, so it's been, you know, working really well. Yeah, and Lucario is definitely, you know, has, doesn't have the greatest, uh, you know, two frame ledge hang. Mm -hmm. uh, so definitely get his. He didn't die, right? No. There were sparks, though. <laughs> that was kind of wild. <laughs> if, we get, if, if we get no DI, I mean, you know. Right though, but Vivi bringing this game all the way back after it was a really you died. Mm -hmm. Yeah, <laughs> Vivi after you know getting taking a whole lot of damage in the game of that game, you know, typical Lucario stuff. Just, yeah, you know, and only at ninety seven percent too, right? Uh, yeah. So ninety seven percent isn't too bad because you have just enough rates to make the other player annoyed, but not enough uh, damage to, for you to die instantly. Uh, <laughs> I don't know why I'm speaking. Yeah, you exploded. <laughs> uh, you know that was a pretty strong aura sphere getting reflected there. Uh, and it's going to be gentlemen right back into this game. And now you're that percent versus Lucario where he's not killing you until like once, like 30, 140 yeah. minimum. So. Yeah, unless you get like a Forge Master, yeah. but I don't think that's going to happen the way Gen plays. Yeah, your move movement's too good, um, for sure. Um, however, though, here, uh, you know, starting to build up a little bit more now is Vivi. Um, Gen just maintaining that stage control right now. Yeah, and you know, yeah, Jen's stage control and stage presence all the time is always very imposing. He does he does that thing where he just threatens with um, stage control and doesn't really do anything and just stands there. Yeah, and just walls you out. It's like really, it's really intimidating. Okay, has to land here. Lucario definitely a character that does struggle to get back onto the floor. Has B reverse stuff, but outside of that, doesn't have a whole lot of mix. Has to get back to ledge here. Does an instant grab of the ledge that time around. Yeah, and and yeah, and Jen definitely had the read on that. But um, Lucario going a little bit too far, and that. Yeah. Instant uh, up B angle into air dodge. The bat. Try why, to why do you just hold straight up? Try to bunk. Try to bunk. Yeah, yeah. probably just held a little bit too much to the right, and uh, yeah. there, that's what happens. Yeah, you go, you make a little circle, and now you're paying for. You know, you're down a stock, so you can yeah. absolutely just get the stock off whenever. But as I mentioned before, Lucario getting back to the floor is so so difficult. Um, near, nearly enough to take the stock. Yeah. Jenna 156% and dash attack at the ledge. No, almost taking it. You know what? Vivi really isn't in that bad of shape, right? No. As long as they don't really get to. Yeah, this is orange numbers, right? You're going to do an okay amount of damage and knock back the Palu now. Yeah. Um, on a fresh stock. So you're. In, if I'm Vivi, I'm in good shape. Yeah, right now you're not in too bad of a shape. However, you do have to get off this ledge. It's going to be tough again. Lucario is a character that, despite, you know, the fact that when he's in neutral, he's not bad. And when he's, you know, in advantage, he's fantastic. Mm -hmm. Has a lot of trouble in pretty much all stages of disadvantage. Getting off that ledge, landing to the floor. Um, yeah. A lot of trouble. Not a lot of great options to come up with either. Yeah. Yeah, and you could see right now, yeah, Jen just, like, mashing out of that with a nair. Um, and, yeah, and, this, and that's the thing. Just like you said. Vivi's gonna have to struggle to get back to stage because Jen is not gonna give up the stage really easily and like you see right now just walling him out. Yeah, and that back air is barely getting pancaked and the, the orange here is making the scary sound, but that back air on the jump in, so good. Yeah. Mix even though Vivi was mixing up timings pretty consistently coming off the ledge, Jen's just red been ready for it every time with a back air, with an air, with something to cover every option in that situation. Yeah, it, it doesn't really matter, like, you know, how much time you take. If Palo's standing there mid-range with the back air, like, yeah. hello, bro. Like. <laughs> <laughs> nice <laughs> jump, dummy. Stupid. Uh -huh. Nice roll, stupid. Uh -huh. Nice uh -huh. wake-up mash, stupid. Yeah, if you, like, you roll there, you get grabbed. Stupid. Yeah, like, if you, you know, neutral get up there, the back, the up back will still just hit you. Yeah. Like, what are you going to do? You're going to neutral get up shield, and, like, oh, well, Palo's still there. Mm -hmm. So, tough situation to get out of. Palo, obviously, one of the best Lotus Trap characters there is out there. Yeah. Just with her normals. Um... However, we are going to save Lucario. It did go pretty, you know, well for Vivi overall. Mm. Until really that last couple ledge interactions. Um, so we're going to see if Vivi can make an adaptation here, or if Jen is just going to keep maintaining that solid neutral play. Yeah, I mean, I, I feel like Vivi did a good job in this event. I feel like this that one SD really didn't do him justice, right? Because I feel like besides that, they're in like pretty firm control of the game. It wasn't really that bad, right? I feel like that was the real deciding factor in that game to, game one. Yeah, and I think like the big thing here that you're seeing from Jen is Jen is so rarely using shield, you really don't want to let Lucario land on your shield. He actually is relatively safe. That Nair's only minus two. Mm -hmm. um, so like when, you, when Lucario's landing on you, throw those hitboxes out. He's going to have trouble getting back up to the floor. Yeah, you have to, right? It's Ooh. not like this character 
has this trick or anything. Yeah. Ooh, looking for that roll read in. Vivi does not end up getting it and just barely gets back to ledge before the dash attack can hit him. Yeah, and that's good knowledge by Vivi, right? Getting hit by that Nair on shield, and that Nair actually isn't that safe on shield. So going down there at a shield, trying to get the uh, down air into side B confirmed, but didn't get it. And oh my god, speaking the of side B. The year of our Lord 2022, can we please DI that move correctly? Nah, bro. He's <laughs> trying to mash off the ledge. Got, got caught, got yeah. caught slipping, though. Yeah, you mean, again, typical stuff with Palu. Uh, you know, just that, that side B can cover so much at ledge. Uh, you just have to be patient, sit at ledge, and then roll. Yeah. Um, it's still scary situations. Jen has looked so good in advantage stay here. Not messing with Vivi at all. It should be death. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, good stuff. Yeah, Vivi is always really good at that. Just psyching out their opponent at ledge. Threaten another per character. I mean, another person who threatens with that airspace, right? Mm -hmm. You're looking out for the back, and all of a sudden you get command grab. Like, okay. Good stuff. <laughs> yeah, no. And that, that's, you know, that's the thing I mentioned before. You like Shielding versus Lucario is like the worst thing you could be doing the vast majority of the time. Just because the character is so, so good at pressuring shield in different ways. Mm -hmm. With the command grab. With, um, you know, Aura Sphere. With um, just safe aerials in general. Nice stall by Vivian. Get back to ledge there. Mm -hmm. uh, avoiding the up B. Or the up uh, smash, rather. Yeah, and it's just like right now, it's just very hard for Vivi right now, right? I feel like it's just Jen's just outpacing him, you know, in every facet of the game. And, you know, Lucar is never out of the game, but I feel like the, the pace of this game right now, Jen's not giving him a lot of room to breathe. No. Hey, down, ooh, down throw mix up. I'm definitely anticipating that Vivi would DI for back throw. Yeah, DI. Yeah. Um, and ended up not working out, but still decent position here for Jen. You have to get this stock off now, though. Ooh. Yeah, things like dash tag are going to start killing at, the, at this aura. Yeah, and, and you got almost a max aura spear as big as uh, a battlefield platform right now. Okay, just have to take a stock. Smart. Um, not really risking anything there with like a side B, like being too slow or whatever. Okay, yeah, yeah, you took 35. Yeah, uh, you at 59, 59, actually. You're just gonna die to side B here. Okay, back to yeah. though is enough to take the stock. Nice quick punish after the uh, S smash spot dodge by Jen. Yeah, I mean, and I respect that, you know, by Vivi, right? You just try to take the game, try to take the momentum to right, right from around him going into the next game. Um, but you know what? You know, you're still in good shape, still have the lead. And, um, you know, if Jen tries to reversal you, you know, you still have that uh, aura on deck. Yeah, and like, again, this is a position where you want to be in those cards. You want to be at where the, where the other opponent is at kill percent and you're at low percent. Because it means you have a lot of time to build up aura to take the stock. Jen looking good, though. Starting to get something going here. Oh, nice roll, uh, tech roll in. Nearly got a punish off of it, too. The jab in the corner is Jen. Yeah, got the chase. And, yeah, you know, that that's one thing Jen has been doing a very good job at all set. Just reading the roll away and reading the dash backs by Vivi, right? And I feel like that's a big part of Lucaro's game plan, try to weave in and out. Ooh, you die. The air dodge. Jam oh, you live. You DI'd? We DI'd perfectly into the corner. Oh, oh no, Vivi threw the wrong way! No that way! That be so, so costly no way, here. No way. The or wow, the side B is enough! Oh, Grab, do down throw, jumps away. That was O. Oh, we're so that was OD by... Just holding shield there. That down is pretty safe. Yeah. Fair, get down back into the floor. Oh, and the that Aura Oh my, I didn't know what wow. happened. I didn't know what happened. I thought that was a trade. I'm just like, yo. Yeah, that is a read by Vivi on the jump in for yeah. sure. Scary, scary situation because you never know. What if Palu back here just comes out um, no. and it eats that up for breakfast? Um, and then you die. Yeah, I mean, in that situation, like, what do you have to lose, right? Because if you do nothing, you literally just lose your stock, right? Because oh, the, the back air was coming out. Frames yeah. away. Yeah. That was frames away from Vivi dying. Yeah. You know that, and that was that was a great job on BB being proactive. Just watch Palu closely here. The the back air is out. I believe if I remember correctly, Palu back air is like frame seven or eight. One, two, three. Yeah, three frames. Four more frames before that Aura Sphere comes out. You die. You're done. Mm -hmm. Crazy stuff on BB. It has to be a read there. Not absolutely not a reaction. I want to um, confirm. Uh, yeah, I want to confirm that Palu Bear is frame eight. Yeah. Yeah, look at me. No, okay. I know what I'm talking about sometimes. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> However, we're going right back to small battlefield for this game number three. Um, excellent uh, piece of gameplay there by both players in game two. Vivi coming out on top. Gonna need to see some responses from Jen to some of the adaptations that Vivi made from game number one. Yeah, and not letting Paolo bully him in disadvantage, right? Yeah. And, and that was the one thing at towards the end of the game. You didn't see, you know, Jen get a lot of stuff started at the ledge as much because, you know, Vivi was fighting his way out of it. 
And that's what you need to do in this matchup as Lupar. You don't really have any other choice. Yeah, and Jen using that huge hitbox to cover as much of that plat as possible. Get a big punish. Ooh, but tries to get a roll read in. Does not end up working out. Gets off the plat there. Mm -hmm. Okay, Lucario in the corner. So tough to deal with. Uh, however, Jen can back there right out. Grabs, just barely misses the recovery, but the F smash lingers just long enough to take that stock. Yeah, Jen chasing a little bit too much, right? You saw V beating him to the punch when it comes to air-to-air -air, um, uh, attacks. And then also you saw, you know, him get red pretty hard on the dash in attempt. So, you know, good stuff by Vivi. Oh, Hello. off stage. Okay, Donald did not time it correctly. Rolls through F smash. Mm -hmm. You might die again, bro. Yeah, you're a ledge versus V. This is you a might, scary you situation. And BB's looking for this knockdown right now, 100%. Mm -hmm. Just trying to get Jen in. Oh, I thought that was a back here for sure, but ends up going for the nair in that situation. That smash K. I respect it. Oh, Max to range can be relatively safe. Get out. Yeah, you died. It tried to spot dodge it. Oh, uh, uh, that was zero down. Was BB it? is taking no percent. Oh, God bless. Okay. Land on the floor. Back air. Not going to be enough just yet. But our aura sphere is large. And, yeah, you, and now... You got the knockdown, you got the knockdown, oh okay. no. Yeah, and you're starting to trade with Lucario now. This is no bueno for Jen. Even when you're down like this much stock, like this many stocks as Lucario. We try to. When you, when you have 122 aura, it doesn't matter. You're still strong as heck. Yeah. yeah you're trying to kill him. Yeah, you know what? And uh, here's the thing to know, right? Vivi is in a very big lead right now. But Alan is, is the person who reversals you like and, like no other person I've yeah, ever yeah, seen. Stop. Yeah, and yeah. and like this could be this could be the this could be the the, the tie, uh, turning tides yeah. in Gen right now, making this reversal comeback. Yeah, what it will take will, will be probably a fairly early stock, and you know fairly early being like before a hundred percent versus Claudio. Yeah. That way you're in no threat of really dying to anything ludicrously early. Um, so you gotta get the stock off soon. But Viv Vivi's just playing such a solid neutral right now, really not falling for a whole lot. Reading yeah. rolls like that is so good. And that was a good di up by by Jen. You know, if you didn't di up, you're gonna get into a tech situation. You don't want you don't want that to happen, especially at this percent. Okay. You, you need to take Lucario's stock okay, right now. Yeah, now Lucario is a real character again. Dash tech so big. Clutch air dodge. You rolled in. You rolled in. That's scary stuff. Oh, now walk away. Oh, you looking for a jump? Vivi's jumped there nearly every time. I like the idea. Okay, Vivi's looking for that time. You can see looking for shield pressure. Ooh, yeah, there it was. And, uh oh. See now. Okay, now this is a, this is actually Jen danger right now for Vivi, right? Yeah. Jen's at hundred percent, and you can't really kill him right now until your numbers are orange, right? Yeah. So right now, this is kind of free range for Palu. <gasps> no, and it's got force it's, That's the one thing, the one thing that will kill you. A read on the forward air down. Jen got just greedy enough in the situation. You know, Jen knows that he needs to get something going. Fair is a great starter. But Vivi, you saw previously predicted one fair. He's like, okay, you've been in this position once before. Right over here, I was shielding. I parried. I got to punish with a DA. That was You're going to do that again. Literally the Runs only up, thing. Knows the fair is coming oh out. Says, God. I don't even need a parry. I'm hurt box shifting this away. And you're going that away. F smash on the punish, huge for Vivi, and that is going to send Vivi into winners finals versus the winner of our next set, which is coming up next, John Numbers versus Frozen. That was very literally the only thing that would have killed him. Yeah, <laughs> maybe down smash. But like, maybe, but like, oh, but You've down gone smash into the darkness. Okay, yeah. cool. sometimes it takes oh, long. Yeah. I don't know yeah, why. Yeah, down Screw smash. You, down yeah. smash isn't gonna two frame. Excuse me, isn't don't, gonna um, don't look at hurt box shift you like that. Yeah.